Sorry, uh, didn't see you there. I know that look. That's the look of wanting to know more about the analysis of series and parallel circuits with more than one source of the MF, isn't it? I can sort you out. Just let me get my, uh, my friends to come and help me. Kaka, kaka. Hey Neil, do you want to be in our video? No! Hello, today we are analysing circuits with more than one EMF. Hi there, I'm Matthew. Now I'm going to talk about multiple sources of EMF in a series circuit. Now as you can see, I've got a diagram of the circuit on the board. It contains two sources of EMF uh, and a 3 ohm resistor. As you can see, you've got an overall equation for the overall EMF in the equation. Uh, you've got V1 plus V2 equals overall V. In this case, we've got four volts coming from this supply of EMF and another three volt supply over here. So four plus three equals seven volts. Hi, I'm James. And I'm going to be talking about how to find out the voltage in a parallel circuit. What you're going to do is you're going to add the values up and divide by how many there are. So for this circuit, we've got 9 volts, 3 volts, and 6 volts. Divide by how many there are, 3, we get 6 volts. Resistance is still calculated the same way. Hi there, my name is... Fraser. <laughs> okay, here we have a diagram. And for this diagram, I'm going to ask you a question. Find the potential difference across all of the cells in this circuit. To work this out, we need to use this equation. Okay? Volts we have here, minus current times by resistance over the number of resistors. Okay? So, we've got 1.5 minus 1.8 times by 1 over 4, which gives us 1.5 times by one quarter, which gives us... 0.375. That one! 0.375. That's great, where's the question? This is the final slide. Might be a little line. White line bar. White line bar. White line bar. <laughs>